All right, what's up, guys? So, River CYT has got a video recommendation, and he wants me to talk about the week it's eaten and it's survival of the fittest. And I agree, man. That's what this life's about. You're competing against a bunch of fucking humans just to get comfortability, just to feel good, to get out of a bad situation, to get out of a bad area. And if you're weak in this society, that you're going down, basically. The, the stronger person will overtop the weaker person, the vulnerable, you know. And they, they, they do it in an unfair way, you know, because this life is not fair. This life is some bullshit, you know. Like, if you're neurotypic, neurotypical and you got the looks, you live in a certain good area, you have all those things, you have a easy way out of this shit, you know. You will be able to override all the vulnerable people in this world, you know. And the person that doesn't have the looks, they're neurodivergent, that mental health problems, they didn't grow up in a good situation, like they were poor or whatever. It's harder to overcome. It's hard to fucking get to the point where you want to feel better, you know, in this society. That's how this life is, and it's fucked up. That's why I'm not bringing a person in this world, you know. Like, I have autism, I have bipolar, and I struggle in this life. The only thing that kind of helps is my looks, I guess. It kind of helps in some ways, but at the same time, people will overlook my looks and they see how I socialize and my bipolar mood swings. They they see that I have a weakness in this life and it's fucking bullshit. But enough talk about me. Everyone's going through some weaknesses. Some people have certain things that can help them in this life, you know, get through it because this society's a joke, you know, and people analyze you and judge you because they want to find a mate. It's like eugenics, right? They want to see you have the looks. They want to see if you are neurotypical or they want to see that you have money, you have status, right? It's pathetic, you know? Look at all the homeless out there. Look at all the people that have a drug addiction. Look at all the people going through disabilities in this life. Society makes them weak. You're not a weak person. That's another one. You have all these things that are considered weak, but you're not. You know, because you never asked to be born. You never asked for these things. And they force you to compete in this fucking game. You know, it's kind of like playing, uh, like, Call of Duty or Halo, and you never asked to play the game, you know, and it's difficult. You, you don't have, like, the uh, wits in the game. You don't know how to play it, right, because you're not prepared. They didn't help you, like your parents, for example, and now you're surviving and competing in this world. And people are competing for jobs, too. That's another one. People are competing for these well-paying jobs, right? Like these trades, you know, for example. I even seen it firsthand. Like, it's too competitive. People are hotheads in there. Maybe I'll make a video on this. There's hotheads in, in the trades, and they want to put you down. And the new guys always want to, like, compete with you and... And the, uh, the, what are they called, journeymen's or something? If they see you being slow at the job and you're not picking up on things, they, they will put, put you down. They'll treat you like shit. They'll name call you. They'll bully you at the job. That's how it goes, you know? And then if you're not strong enough to handle that shit, you don't have the thick skin, I guess, then... You won't be able to handle that type of job, you know? It's it's fucked up, I'll say. It really is. Like, why if if these trades are looking for people and uh they're having a hard time filling in the job, why can't they uh teach someone something? Why don't they 
uh, picks, why don't they uh, hire someone that doesn't have experience, right? It's because they're, it's competitive in the job market. They want someone that's good with their hands. They want someone that uh, can do the job, <laughs> you know? They're that picky. It's competitive. And it's competitive with every job that's high paying. But the ones that don't pay as much, you won't, you'll be suffering too. You, you won't be able to get a, a good living situation. You will still kind of compete with people because people want higher pay, you know? People don't want to, people don't want you to like take their position, so... That's how people are, man. They wanna, they wanna make you weak, and they wanna see you at the bottom. Society doesn't wanna make you uh, like do better in this life. They wanna make you feel like shit, and they might, they want you to compete. They want you to work your ass off. They want you to uh, go above and beyond in this life. You never asked for it, you know. It's pathetic. It's it's unbelievable. It's kind of like animals, too. If there's an animal out there that's weak, the stronger animal will get it, you know? It's how it always is in this fucking life. It's pathetic. And that's why I'm not bringing a kid in this world. It, it doesn't make sense to bring one, you know? Doesn't mean it's got to overcome. Doesn't mean it's got to have a good life when this life is too competitive and... Everyone wants these things. Everyone wants a vacation. Everyone wants to live in the suburbs or something. Everyone doesn't want to live in the ghetto. Everyone wants to have friends. They want this attractive girlfriend or boyfriend, you know? They want to compete. And, and that's another one. People are competing for that girl. Dudes. i seen that shit. Dudes are fucking competing to try to get this woman. And... They want to make you weak. They want to make you insecure. They want to critique on your uh, your looks when there's nothing wrong with them. You know? Because they see you trying to get that girl and they're jealous and they'll fucking do that shit to you. You know? It's pathetic, man. This life is fucking bullshit with that. Um... Yeah, and it's not your fault. Like, these parents are selfish. They bring a kid in this world, and they give them these genetics, and now you gotta deal with the with society that puts you down with your looks, for example, or your, uh, like, how you socialize, or, um, uh, your status. It's, it's pathetic, you know? They don't want to go by your character at all. That's basically, like, ignored. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pathetic man but i'll catch you guys with another one